Hey guys, today I'm doing a little video on how to fix your Beats Mixer headband. Um, there's only really three things you need for this repair. You're going to need a flathead screwdriver and then just a normal screwdriver um, like this. Can't get it to zoom in correctly. <laughs> Anyways, you kind of know what I mean there and then just a clamp normally. So those are really the only three things you need for this. There's no soldering required. Uh, luckily for a headband replacement, and this is usually the case for most of these headbands for the Beats. I think the Beats Solo, you wouldn't need it, or the Solo 2, um, and a few other of the models. I don't think that the studio needs it too, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, so it's a, it only takes about mm, probably five to ten minutes depending on your skill level. Um, let's just get right into it here. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take off these two uh, <clears throat> metal tabs here. These hide the screws below it, um, and it's gonna you're going to dig a little deep into it. It's not a huge cap, so just kind of pop it off here as I did. And as you can see, it's it's a it's a fairly thin, so you don't have to dig too deep to get this out. It's fairly easy. There's just a little bit of uh, adhesive that holds that together. Do that on the same the other thing, or do that on the other side. So just pop that guy off as well. And then you see these two screws here. Um, I've noticed when I'm fixing these, there's a variation of how tight these guys are screwed in. Um, it's probably better if they are screwed in a lot tighter because if they aren't, you can get some wire breakage on the inside of that. And that's another problem that these mixers have is <clears throat> sometimes um, on this uh, turning point here, the wire will break inside of that and you'll only get one ear working. Um, I do think I have another video out there that kind of explains that, but this is only for headband repairs, so that'll be a different story. Um, so now the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to get your clamp out and you're going to clamp it on the inside of this. Um, you might also notice that there's some caps on the, ins on, on the inside of the headband as well. Um, you don't need to worry about taking those off, but when you're clamping this on, you might see them kind of pop off when you're doing that. So don't worry too much. Um, but yeah, once you get it clamped on, then you'll be able to easily just kind of screw this guy off. Um, as you can see, I'm using kind of a smaller screwdriver. It's kind of just so I can get it all in the video right now. But you might need to use something a little with, with a little bit more force um, so you can take this screw off. Because it is fairly difficult depending on the pair, like I said. Um, so that'll come off. There'll be these two washers in here. Obviously, make sure you don't lose those. Um, and then that piece right there that fell out too, that is an extremely important piece. Um, let me kind of, yeah, see this guy here, this little metal hinge, or metal, I don't know, I'll kind of bring it in here closer. This guy is very easy to lose, um, but that's kind of what holds these things together so it uh, clicks correctly, so make sure you don't lose that piece. Um, so yeah, it's just take these guys, put them off to the side, um, put them somewhere where you're going to know where they are, obviously. Um, so yeah, so now you got your first side off here. Some of the other things you're going to want to do to take off this headband, um, this one's kind of already falling apart, but you're going to want to take off this rubber piece first here. As you can see, this thing's in pieces, so it's, e it's easily coming off. Um, those little pieces of adhesive are also kind of sticking to my fingers here. Um, so yeah, that thing's pretty much off already, so there's not much to show. Um, but yeah, definitely put that off to the side. Um, so yeah, and then the next thing is taking off these um, little metal tabs. You might actually want to use your flathead for this. Just kind of pop those guys off there. So you don't do any damage by taking those guys off. Um, 
one thing about these compared to some of the other ones is all the parts work on both sides except for the right and left ear you probably want to keep those separate um, but everything else doesn't really matter where you put them when you put uh, put them back together so that's kind of a nice thing um, especially when you're looking for replacement parts um, so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to want to slide these these guys off um, make sure you sl don't slide these off until you get that rubber piece off because um, if this headband wasn't as broke as it was usually this wire will be stuck onto um, the headband the top of the headband so if you pull these off you might damage the wire without taking off those metal tabs and that that rubber cushion on top of there um, again I usually use my uh, my flathead to try to get a little bit of room underneath this thing to kind of pop that off so, whoops there we go I got that thing to come off so then these guys just slide right off the headband I can put that off to the side and then the other side I'm going to do the same thing so yeah guys if you guys have any questions about headband replacement parts or any kind of parts for beats I usually have them if it's the mixer headband cushion or the headband or the cushions or whatever you need um, just let me know okay so this is where that piece fell out on me before but kinda try to show this a little bit better but yeah if you see right there that's where that little metal piece that I said not to lose it before is normally supposed to be. Um, but again, it looks like this one fell off, fell out of it. And uh, again, I've lost a couple of these, and it's not it's not good to to put them back together with all those in there. So it's very important. Um, so then the next thing is obviously yeah, we're just going to do the same thing we did before. Um, I'm going to take this guy and slide it off. So yeah, there we go. We got the headband off. So now, the only thing we need to do next is the reassembly. And that will be my next video. Thanks for watching.